In this demo, we will demonstrate how to create a habitat service with initial configuration, which is bound to another service. Here we are starting the habitat operator, which is watching for habitat object. The deploy manifest file looks like this. So we have three objects that we are creating, a secret, a habitat object, another habitat object and a service file. So the um, secret will contain the port number that we want to override and later display in the Go service. The, the port number we will override in the Postgres habitat service. And that's why we are also pasting the secret name in the config secret name. The bind go is a simple go uh, is a simple go program that basically just displays the hello from port and the actual configuration comes from the bound service in Postgres and it just displays it on screen. So we should end up with hello from port. And the port here is 4444, so we should end up with that. Um, we are telling our operator that we want to bind those two services together by inputting the bind field here. And the name is DB, and that is resolved inside of the ring by Habitat. And as we want to access to see that all of this happened, we also create a service file for this. So let's create this. So, <laughs> so let's create this. And as we can see, all the four objects were created and they were also intercepted by the habitat operator. Um, and it created a deployment for the Postgres and a deployment for the Go. We can now see that the as we're watching the pods, we can see that the containers are being created, both the Postgres and the Go one. And once they're created, we should be able to see the displayed message. Service is running, and we can have a look at the logs for that. So we see that the hooks were recompiled because it took the initial configuration that we passed. So we're not just waiting for the Go service. And the Go service is also running, so let's have a look at those logs as well. And we can say that the hooks were recompiled when the service bound to it, and it was initialized. So if we now access to the port that we found it in the service file, we see that we have hello from port 44444, which is not the default for this Postgres database, and we have overridden. And that concludes our demo.